Hey folks, Midwest Crappie Man. Back at you today with another mystery tackle box unboxing. It's the Elite Bass Box. It's the third one ever. Um, May, May of 2018, this is the third one ever available. I gotta say, I was super impressed with the first box. Got a ton of good stuff. Second box, eh. I, I liked it a lot, but like the bat bait. They threw in this top water. You have to, I'll link my video at the end. You'll have to watch the video, but they threw in this top water. Savage Gear, the, the Savage Gear, the same company that makes that duck, a bat bait, a topwater, wasn't real impressed with that. So, gonna check out the new box, see if they change my mind with the third one, or if I need to go back to the pro box. And right off the bat, I'm a little confused. Okay, I, and it could just be me, it could just be personal preference, never fished one of these. Right off the bat, we got a Lake Fork Flutter Spoon. One and a quarter ounce, five inch. Tip, cast your favorite submerged structure. Let's sink to the bottom. Crank three to five cranks, let it flutter. I've never fished a spoon of any size. Maybe this is a different part of the country thing, an East Coast or West Coast. But here in the Midwest, I have no idea how to fish this spoon. Comment down below, tell me... Is this a good bass bait? Does it work? Is that a good color? How do I fish it? Comment, looks like it's got a stainless steel hook. I don't know. Comment down below. Is this a joke or is this an actual legit bait? One and a quarter ounce. What, what kind of rod do I even throw it on? Comment down below. Tell me what gear I need and how to fish this. And will this work for bass in the Midwest? That's a little confused with that. Let's, uh, the dibble. 949 Lake Fork Flutter Lake Fork Flutter Spoon. Oh, whatevs. We'll go on here. Strike Pro, which I think this is a catch co company, so Mystery Tackle Box exclusive. Pretty sure. Could be wrong. Strike Pro Flex Phantom. This is a big old wake bait. 1660. The secret weapon. Phantom 130, so 130 size, five and an eighth inch, one and five sixteenths ounce. Depth two foot floating, so it's a big old, big old wake bait. It's kind of prismatic looking. If you know how the Yozuri does their prismatic, it looks like it has something like that. It's a jointed wake bait. Ooh, the big old action. I like to see that in the water. Only one hook, one hook right in the center. One big old looks like a big old mustad. Strike Pro. Don't have a D loop on the front. It's a round one. Heavy. Big old Strike Pro wake bait. Wake baits are the new thing, so I, I, I'm bound to determine to catch some big bass on a wake bait this year. Everybody's doing it, so. $16 bait. Comment down below, tell me what you think of that wake bait. I don't know. Two baits into it, so. We got a $10 bait and a $17 bait about. All right. Next hard bait. I love a crank bait, but now I'm confused again. Okay, this Molex. Molex Supernatural Soft Hybrid Crankbait. So this looks like a soft body frog. It has a hook like a soft body frog. $15.99. $16 crankbait. I'll tell you why I'm apprehensive about this. Because being a soft body, it looks like it has a weight, same place as the frog and everything. Being a soft body, when this fills up with water and when it doesn't have water... It, it's always going to change its action, I would assume. The action's never going to stay the same like a hard body bait. So, three baits into it. Don't know how unimpressed I am. Don't know if I like this crankbait. I'm a crankbait guy. Tail like a frog. Got a little rattle. But look, it's completely soft. Completely soft. This, this part's hard. Okay, the head part... Has a little bit of hard right here and hard right here, but this is all, if you can see me bend it, that's all soft. There's the weight. I don't know that I'm gonna like that. Don't, not really digging this box this month, to be completely honest, but I'm still a big fan of Mystery Tackle Box either way. But uh, don't, don't know if I like the premise behind this or if it's even gonna work. So we're gonna have to test that out. We might have to do a video on that. That might be, okay. Z-Man, custom chatterbait. Now we're talking. Black and purple with a black blade. 
I like that because I like to do bluegill type imitations and stuff and I don't I like that. I don't like the silver blade. A lot of times I color it with a Sharpie. So 3A sounds, Z-Man Chatterbay. Looks like we might have some trailers for it in here too. Can't beat that. $4.99. Awesome Chatterbait. Black light. Midnight black light is the color. Kitek. Kitek swing impact $4.99. These are some little oh man, like Two and three quarter inch, three inch swim baits. Bluegill flash, ten of them. I like these. These are going to work perfect as a trailer with this to imitate a bluegill. Don't have to color the blade for the bluegill imitation. Anytime I'm trying to imitate a bluegill with a chatterbait, I color the blade. Don't have to do it on this. Little Kitex. Super pumped about that combo. That, that's the one thing I'm excited about so far. The the two cheap ones, the two five dollar ones, the ten dollar bait here. This is this has got me more excited than those three baits. Way off the bat, I'd much rather, maybe it's me, comment down below and tell me what you think, but I'd much rather would have just had a good Lucky Craft or Strike King or any. Yozuri, I'm a big fan of the Yozuri crankbaits. I would much rather have anything other than this, but I don't know. Tell me what you think. Do you think that's going to work? Comment down below and let me tell you. But Cool thing here, 10 bucks. Okay, the last one. Duel. From the dual bait company, hardcore. Looks like a Japanese company. Jerk bait. Okay, and it has two weights in it and a magnet towards the head, so you can get the weights to lock and get it to dive down. So that's supposed to be the special thing about it. Flat 95 SP, three and three quarter inch, seven sixteenths ounce, so almost a half ounce. Um. $15 jerkbait. This is Japanese. So I think that's going to be an awesome, awesome jerkbait. So I'm happy with that and the, the Z Man and the Kai Tech. But comment down below and tell me what you think. Uh, this is something different. What in the world is JDM tackle? Okay, and it tells you about Japanese tackle and the truly weedless crankbait. Maybe I'll read up on that and see if they can convince me that that's going to be a thing. But Super, super skeptical is the crappie man on that weedless soft body crankbait. And there is a pretty cool sticker in here. The stickers have been kind of lacking lately. Bass with some baits in his belly. An x-ray bass with some baits in his belly. That is cool. So I like the sticker too. So no complaints. I'm a fan of Mystery Tackle Box. I'm going to continue to be a fan of Mystery Tackle Box. I think they'll step it up. Because I believe they might get some bad feedback on this one. But, uh. Could be wrong. Could be wrong. So uh, comment down below. Tell me how in the heck to fish.